q cross the set of alphabet that means uh, it takes uh, one uh, one element from q and make, takes another element from the alphabet set and uh, make, uh, based on that combination it leads you to one element of the q okay so this is what uh, it signifies so for a simple dfa the transition diagrams are like this uh, delta qi with input uh, you know a it is going to lead you to qj now you can see that qi definitely a member of q a is member of the alphabet set and qj is again a member of q okay <coughs> transition table transition table is nothing but the you know transition uh, of the transition diagram you have done uh, where you have prepared or writing down them in tabular form so how we do them we just uh, prepare a table like this we put all the alphabets in the columns and all the states uh, like uh, q0 q1 in rows and we check uh, the delta that uh, what is uh, happen if you write delta q0 comma um, a so in our previous example what you have solved uh, q0 a was leading you to q0 so it will be q0 okay then delta so q0 b it was leading you to q1 so here it will be q1 then delta q1 a it was leading you to q0 so here it will be q0 delta q1 b it was leading you to <coughs> q1 itself so right then right here q1 okay so this can be the transition diagram sorry transition table for the transition diagram we had uh, prepared or we had solved okay now there is another thing called extended transition diagram okay <clears throat> extended transition diagram here you can see one star is added here and another star is added here that means it you know when there is star on the alphabet it means a combination or a substring you can say or combination right <clears throat> you have a combination of symbols <clears throat> now say uh, if you think about our first example where we had uh, initial state q0 where we had given a it was taking us to q1 then if we give b it was going to q2 then give another b it was going to q3 then you gave uh, um, another a it was going to final state q4 right so here we can have uh, you know extended transition diagram uh, transition function delta star where at q0 if we give a b together we can just go to q2 correct so here what we have skipped the <clears throat> that uh, thing this is basically combination of delta q0 a which was leading to q1 and delta q1 b which which is leading to q2 so you can see this a and this b are coming here like uh, you know, together as a uh, substring okay and uh, this thing this thing are basically compressed so delta uh, delta star q0 is with a and b input it is taking q2 so it is nothing but you know, multiple deltas you are writing in a single statement okay 
so uh, this is what i have to so w is the combination of characters okay <clears throat> now if there is a world from qi to qj qj with level w say you have input a b b b a a okay so uh, using your uh, uh, solution of the previous problem this one you and final state takes so all the b yeah. okay so what will be the answer here can anybody write down here in the chat box <clears throat> Can anybody write the answer here in the chat box? Mm, Q0. Q0. Okay. So if you give A it will, it will stay on Q0 first A. Then you take B, it will lead you to Q1. Then for another B, Q1 will consume, another B Q1 will A consume. For this A, we will move from Q1 to Q0, and for another A, it will be Q0 on the Q0 itself. Okay, so finally we will have Q0 here. Okay, so this is how we write the extended transition functions. Okay, then uh, recursive definition uh, if you give, you know. Lambda, you are staying on the same state, okay? So if this this is happens, we call that uh, some recursion is uh, happening, okay? So in the same way, you can see here, uh, uh, delta star, uh, delta star Q lambda, you are staying in the same place. So we can again write delta star, you know, instead of uh, lambda, you know, instead of lambda, we're writing W, sigma okay so which can be which can be again expanded like delta c delta star qw and <coughs> this uh, this this is uh, sigma so here what is this uh, uh, in a sigma and w so you have a okay this lambda is a bigger string okay so it you can think like this this lambda is a a, A, B, 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 A, where this is W and this is sigma. Okay, so what happens uh, in a, uh, you know, what can I say, extended uh, transition diagram? You can simply write something uh, delta stra say q0 in our case say if we take uh, a a a b b b a hmm, is taking leading you to q0 and if somebody want to stay test but okay is it is really happening like uh, you have done just before you know uh, this slide okay you, you, you was doing uh, things you know manually right uh, checking and uh, looking at the uh, diagram okay say you don't have the diagram but you have the transition table so in that case you can check it like this delta bracket delta star then q0 mm, you give a, a b b here bring a this a out okay then you do q0 still it is not possible to test so what you will do again we will do same thing with this okay and go on go on until you are going to have mm, some delta delta again so many deltas uh, and so many means uh, one to three deltas then another delta fourth delta 
into that you will have q0 comma this a okay comma a comma b comma b comma a to q0 now you will solve this first you will get a state here with that state you will again see what is the transition for a and so on you will see and finally whether you are getting q0 at the end or not so this is what uh, called recursive definition okay so ah, language is accepted by finite automata so uh, it is uh, written uh, dfa but i think it is about uh, an infinite automata m okay the language lm contains all input string accepted by m so what is m m is something you know some transition diagram hmm? something like this okay uh, so this m so whatever string is going to be accepted by this aim hmm? if you collect all the string in a set okay that is going to be called as a language okay then that language is defined by this finite automata and we write it like l of m okay so what is l of m it is a language which uh, whose each string is accepted by a finite automata m clear yeah? Okay, so lm equal to strings that uh, drive m to final state. So this is you understand, right? So like uh, if you look at this, uh, what will be lm? Can anybody write it down? Write the answer in the chat box. What is lm for this uh, transition diagram? <coughs> I expect many of you can answer this question within a fraction of a second. Many of you know, but on the right hand line it must be D. Then you end with D, right? So initially we can draw something like this. Q0 give a B, uh, reach to a final state Q1. Now before B, it can be anything, okay? Now, if it is a NFA, we can put A, B together here, okay? And so this self loop, so this is the initial state, so I must give this arrow, okay? So, uh, before B, if any combination of A or B comes, it will be accepted here, or it will be consumed here, and if it is the final B, it will lead you to the final state. And after this B also, if you get some A, you just send back it to the initial state. Okay. So this is approach, uh, can be say, correct for NFA. But Charmi had a DFA. And that was also uh, quite, uh, no, that is that was the correct answer, basically. Q0, it doesn't matter how many B A's you are getting, all A you consume here. You get a B, then you go to the final state, Q1, and if you get n number of Bs, doesn't matter, your string is still ending with a B, so keep you know, a self loop for B here. And after that, if you get by chance another A, you just send back it to the initial state with A. Okay? So, this is what you can understand uh, the correct uh, DFA and NFA. For a, if it is, if you are drawing NFA, you can get marks with the first one. But if it is mentioned DFA, you are going to get marks with this one. All right. <coughs> uh, see here, uh, all string with a. a uh, oh no, with a B over, uh, sorry, ends with a B over A and B. Here you can see uh, another way, it is NFA again. 
so anything it comes it is accepting and it, if it is the final way it is going to the uh, you know accepting state and after that if it is getting something else uh, it is going to some trap state so this is not a good idea actually but uh, somewhere uh, i had got this uh, solution okay so this is not a good good solution uh, so for your answer uh, can you write down what is uh, sigma what is q and what is f that answer you had made right now it was like this q0 all a are consumed here for a b it was going to say q1 okay all b is was consumed here and for a it is coming back here so can you can you write down these three things the three set in the chat box you can write What will be your uh, uh, sigma or uh, set of alphabets? A and B. Good. Who answered? How do you answer this? Yes. Uh, Q. Capital Q. What will be the capital Q? Yeah, Charmi answered fully. Yeah, that is good. Q0 and Q1. And F is only Q1. That is the final set, final state. Okay. So this is what uh, you need to know, and you have to write uh, every time you will uh, design some NFA or DFA. Okay. Now the transition function. The transition function will write like this. Uh, 